The next video I want to show you guys are the icons. It's kind of the bread and butter, if you will, of what ClearPlan is. We're using an icon-based run logic, and simply put, that just means each one of these icons has a different meaning. Let me take you to the icon screen and show you what each one of those meanings are. We click the back button, and then we click icons. At any time, these are available for you to view as a key. The first icon that we have, guys, is going to be a brand new place of employment. What you're going to notice, though, is that this place of employment is different than this one. The reason being is that this is a new POE, one that has never been run. Sometimes the largest struggle for us as agents is trying to remember every single one of our addresses, and we can even miss our first runs. So what we want at a quick eye test is for our agents to be able to see at least what's new and what's not. So you're going to notice this brand new POE, the square with a bank in it. When I come to this address on my tablet or laptop, I'm going to type my update from ClearPlan, three-story office complex, all open parking, no unit spotted, and we're automatically going to step it down to this yellow teardrop. Now, once this yellow teardrop is on your map, it will not change ever again. It won't go back to new unless you as the agent says so. The only time this will come off is once we discount it. So, <clears throat> this is brand new, and this is run, simply put. The next icon, voluntary. Really self-explanatory. This is just any open voluntary on your map. Priority. Priority is distinguished by the user. As agents, we all know what we're hooking as far as collateral or steel. Who are our good clients, our good credit unions, our high performers? All of our agents internally will mark those accounts a priority. At the end of the day, putting cars on the truck is how we make our money. Mark those accounts a priority for easier viewing on your map. Confirmed. This is probably one of the coolest icons on our map. Confirmed is the unit has been spotted at this address, whether it's blocked in, in the garage, backyard, etc. Whatever the case may be, our car is at this address. This is one of my favorite icons on ClearPlan, and when we go over to the map, I'm going to show you why. You, like the priority, mark these in your own area, either confirmed or priority. These are selected by you guys, the agents. Next is new. This is any new residential address, guys. A lot of these is a busy night for work. But just like that POE, when I update this new address, single family home, one story, two car garage, no unit spotted, it's going to automatically taper down to this blue reverse teardrop, which a majority of your map is going to be. Again, once it turns into this, we don't change it back. The only thing that happens to this icon is you're going to run it and discount it at your discretion. You guys are going to notice that we also are mapping all of your LPR hits on ClearPlan. Previous, we were having to go into whatever portal or look through emails or look through RDN, and it never failed that when we got to a good-looking camera hit, it was back where we were just at five miles down the road. So instead of having to memorize all of your historicals, we're going to put those on your map as well. So this, like any other one of our new assignments, the red camera represents a new scan, a historical scan, local to your company that has never been run. Once you update that scan and or check into it, we're going to turn it down to a blue camera. Next are advanced alerts. Advanced alerts for DRN are assignments that are assigned with one of your competitors but you have a more recent scan on, at which point in time DRN will send you that scan info. Previous to ClearPlan, you would have to memorize that scan info as it came via email. Most likely your office was emailing these to you. Even more frustrating is when you got to one of these units and it was either closed or off the hot list, there was nothing worse than calling the client, finding the car, only to be told that's no longer an active account. Advanced Alert Day Scan is going to be any of those accounts that your company has scanned during the day. Advanced Alert Night Scan is going to be any of those accounts that you scanned at night. And once you've checked into either of these, we turn it in to a blue dollar sign. Also, with our direct integration with DRN, once these are paid current, picked up, or come off the hot list, they will automatically come off of your clear plan. There is no more need to worry about running these assignments when they are no longer active and or closed. Impound. This is going to be any standard impound account. Field visit. This is anything that your client has sent over as a field visit. On the upper right hand corner, you're going to notice that there's a custom icon area. In ClearPlan, your company can create any custom icon they want to mean anything that you want. Simply select the icon you want, give it a name, and a simple description. 
Once you've done that, hit Save Icon. In this company's case, they've made a couple of unique reminders for their agents to have to use at their leisure. These, these icons don't mean anything in particular. They just mean, I want to remind myself to come back and run that assignment later, for whatever reason may be. Urgent, this is an assignment needing immediate attention. And if you're going to make any custom icons whatsoever, I recommend at least motorcycle, marine, and vehicle icon. I don't know how it is in most other people's markets, but in ours, people are not leaving their road kings out for us to take in the middle of the night. And I like to be one and done on these types of assignments.